Good morning. We are looking at an area of uh, some brightening in the sky right now down at the Dakota Magic Casino Sky Cam. That's right along the state line with North Dakota and South Dakota. So uh, an area in the Southern Valley where we're seeing a mix of some clouds and some of that now that the sun is up, some of that sunlight trying to break through as well. Uh, we are a little drier here right now, but that thing that could change. That's the thing that we're going to be dealing with today is a possibility for off and on chances for rain and even some thunder showers as we head into the afternoon. So we've got caution lights for you for your travel on this Memorial Day because it's a day where you're going to want to check the radar before you hit the road and make sure you're able to be alerted to uh, any severe weather alerts that pop up. I'm not expecting severe today, but it's always good to be prepared just in case. Now looking at our full view, you can see that there's some standing water on the lot there as well at the Dakota Magic Casino, and there are lots of areas that are waterlogged. We're going to be talking more about the uh, potential potential for flooding along our rivers coming up this morning. And here's another view. If you're going to be traveling, hitting the road this morning, you see the wet road surface in Fargo along I-94 and the Red River and standing water in the ditches there too from this DOT cam here this morning. So some hazards out there that we're going to want to make sure we're uh, prepared for today. Here's a look at the latest radar. You can see we're looking at the Northern Valley and East where the focus is for a lot of the rain that's occurring right now. There are some showers from Jamestown back through the Lisbon area back over toward Lidgerwood and Fargo Moorhead right on the edge of these areas of rain. We're seeing more of that North Metro and over to the east into the Moorhead and Dilworth side as well. Lots of places in Clay County getting some rain and along Highway 10, Highway 34 back over to Park Rapids too through Becker County and East. That's where we're seeing some showers up into Clearwater County, the Faustin area, and all the way up toward New Folden and uh, back into Grand Forks County. Grand Forks has been seeing quite a bit of rain here this morning too. So this is ongoing. I do want to take a look at other places across the country. I know it's a big travel day for a lot of folks. One thing I want to mention is a line of showers moving its way toward Minneapolis. So if you're heading in that direction, you might encounter that uh, over time. And then moving into the southeast, that's where the severe weather is. Alabama, back over into Georgia, Atlanta, under the threat for severe weather. In this line, the system continues to roll eastward toward the east coast today, and that's where the focus is for that severe weather potential from New York City back through Washington, back down toward the Carolinas and over toward Atlanta again under a slight risk for severe storms. We're shaded in light green here in the valley and in the tri state area, most of it, and that's because we do have a chance for some thunder showers, more likely non severe. So, we're going to be talking about this this morning. We're in the 50s here to start off today, 58 degrees in Fargo, uh, 50 in Grand Forks. Wind is very light. A lot of places reporting 10 miles or less for wind speeds and the direction is a little bit variable. And taking a look at our planner for today, we'll see these showers that we're dealing with now continue to kind of migrate eastward. Uh, this particular model showing it kind of fizzling out a little bit as it moves east. But as that's happening, that's when we start to warm up. Midday, we're starting to see some isolated storms popping. This is noon and into the afternoon, more areas where those isolated showers and thunder showers are going. So this is 3 p.m. Temperatures for highs today ranging from 60 to about 70 degrees. And again, areas where we're watching out for some rain and some thunderstorms. So some gusty winds, some lightning associated with those. Again, a reminder if you're out on the lake today, if you hear that rumble of thunder, you want to get off the lake immediately and keep an eye on the radar and you can do so on the VNL weather app. Continuing on into tonight, these will start to fizzle out and we'll quiet down more into the overnight hours. We're going to take a look at the entire week ahead coming up. And your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. The crack keeps growing. The doors and windows stick. This must be very frustrating. Almost no one connects that these are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation. But it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. The effects of water can be surprising. But at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free. So here's that look at our seven day planner. We've got that chance for some rain and thunder today. We are looking out for uh, the potential for some of that instability to linger into Tuesday in some of our eastern viewing area. But I think we're really going to see things quiet down tomorrow and especially Wednesday enjoying some sunshine here for midweek to help dry things out a little bit before the next round moves in. We're going to see a chance for some rain and thunder on Thursday carrying on into Friday and even this weekend some showers we'll be watching out for. But you can see our temperatures 
just more uh, kind of conducive to heading out to the lake. This weekend wasn't <laughs> terrible, but it wasn't necessarily hot lake weather that a lot right. of people like to see in the summertime. We'll see some 70s and 80s next week, though. I love that. Very yeah. happy to see that ahead. Looking more and feeling more like summer. All right, I'll take it. Thank you for the updates, Lisa.